Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront. Holy shit is a delightfully versatile phrase. It could be used to express surprise, wonderment, fear, even sadness. Regardless of the reason, here are the top 5 video game moments of 2012 that made me say, holy shit. Note that there will be some spoilers in this video, especially for Halo 4 and The Walking Dead, so if you have not played through those games completely, I urge you, back out now. Number 5. Alright, I'm cheating here. I didn't actually say holy shit when I got caught by Slenderman for the first time while playing Slender, and the proof is actually online. Ah! Ah! It got me. It got me. But I can assure you that while my mouth is saying, ah! Ah! my mind is screaming at the top of its imaginary lungs, holy shit! Number four. After you clear a level in Hotline Miami, that's generally your chance to take a giant breath of relief. Your adrenaline comes back down, you pat yourself on the back with a smile on your face, proud of what you just accomplished, head down and make your way back to your HOLY SHIT! Yeah, that pretty much sums up this moment from the end of chapter 11 in Hotline Miami. Number 3! Count this one in the sad, holy shit, category. Cortana has always been a mainstay of the Halo series and has always seemed to be untouchable. Chief needed her both as a companion and as a convenient deus ex machina device to open up pretty much any door made by any alien race throughout the whole galaxy. Time will tell if Cortana truly is gone for good or if the writers will somehow find a way to bring back the fan favorite, but for now, holy shit, Cortana's dead. Number 2 Asura's Wrath is a game basically made up entirely of holy shit moments, but the one that stands out as the most ridiculously awesome thing that Asura has ever done in my eyes is hold up the finger of a cosmically giant wizen, and then proceed to beat the hell out of it to the point where he makes him explode into a beautiful display of fireworks. Number 1 we all know that things in The Walking Dead don't usually end on a happy note, but few expected Lee's death clock to begin counting down near the end of episode 4, where he gets bit by a hidden zombie completely out of nowhere. It was simultaneously the game's biggest jump scare and the most shocking moment of a series known for having shocking moments. It totally shifted the tone of the series from a story of survival to a story of doing whatever you can in the short amount of time you have left to ensure a better life for Clementine. <sighs> No. 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 